Installing Sterling Ensemble, Advantage, or Acclaim bath showers. Position and secure the felt pad if one is provided. Ensure the apron braces are engaged properly on the bath. If apron braces are not present, a 2x4 secured to the subfloor behind the apron will act as an adequate apron brace. Install the drain to the bath. Refer to the drain manufacturer's instructions. Move the bath into position. Install metal clips on the flange at the specified locations. Using the clips as a leveling aid, level the bath and then secure the clips to the studs using screws that are galvanized or plated. If the gap between the clip and stud exceeds 1 8 inch, shim before securing. Install plastic attachment clips at all other stud locations where the metal clips are not present. At the center of the stud, slide the plastic clip between the flange of the bath and the stud. Secure each clip to a stud with a galvanized or plated screw. If the gap between the clip and stud exceeds 1 8 inch, shim before securing. Repeat this procedure for the remaining plastic clips. Insert a metal or wood shim between the floor and the product support. Make sure the unit is level. Install the back wall. Engage the tabs on the back wall with the slots in the unit. Mark hole locations for the faucet components on the end wall. Remove the end wall. Determine hole sizes required for faucet components. Make sure the escutcheon, flange, or cover plate will be large enough to cover the drilled holes. Always follow the instructions included with your valve and fittings. Drill holes for the components. Apply an L-shaped bead of 100% silicone sealant at the front edges of the unit. The bead of silicone sealant must be a minimum of 1 quarter inch wide and 1 by 4 inches long. Reference the orange labels attached to the end wall panels for more details. Position the end walls with the pins engaged in the wall interlock slots on the back wall. Verify that the end walls are flush against the edge of the bath. Make sure the gap between each wall and the top edge of the unit is less than 1 32nd inch or the thickness of a credit card. Starting from the bottom of the end walls and working up, secure the end walls to the studs about every 12 inches. Do not over tighten the screws. Verify that the walls are plumb before securing to the studs. Add shims between the wall flange and studs prior to securing with fasteners. Install the finished wall material leaving a 1 8 inch gap between the edge of the wall surround and the finished wall material. When sealed, this gap will reduce the possibility of water seeping into the wall material. Make sure the backside water channel is free of insulation and construction debris after installation. Cover, seal, or remove any loose material. Failure to do so may cause wicking of water from the water channel into the material. This can result in mold and mildew growth or leaking. Seal the seams between the bath and the finished wall material with 100% silicone sealant. Allow the silicone sealant to cure according to the sealant manufacturer's instructions. Complete the drain, faucet trim, bath spout, and shower door installation. Check for leaks. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions for each of these components.